Hello friends, this video on Mathematical Reasoning Part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 4. Quantifiers are statements of phrases like there exist or for all. For example, when I say there exists a girl who is beautiful. So in that case, there are 100 girls out of that one girl will be beautiful. So you can say there exists a girl. I can't say for all girl girls are beautiful because there are some girls who are not that beautiful. I mean it all depends on person to person. So there exists is used when you have a bigger set. So you have a bigger set and from that set some some elements satisfy your condition. For example there exists a teacher who is tall. So you have very I mean let's suppose you have 10 teachers in your school some are short some are tall there exists a teacher who are is tall. Or there exists a teacher who has a big car. Some teacher may have small car, some teacher may have big car. So, so when you're saying there exists, that means from a bigger set, you have at least one, at least one teacher who has big car, or at least the one girl who is beautiful. Correct? Or when I say there exists a politician who is not corrupt. So that means in our country there are so many politicians. There should be one politician who is not corrupt. Well, actually, I doubt this statement, but there should be one politician who is non-corrupt. So such kind of scenarios we represent using statement, there exist, there exist, and then statement. When you say for every, that means for every prime number, if you see p root, root p is a rational number. So you take any prime number, you take root of that prime number, it becomes irrational. So for every is used when the statement is true for all the elements in the statement. For example, this is again a bigger set and you have element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if your statement is true only for, let's suppose, these statements, then you say there exists. But if your statement is true for all the elements in the set, then you use for every. So if I say, for every school there are students. For every school, there are students. The statement is true because you take any school, there has to be a student. If there is no student, there is no uh, there is no school. But if I say a statement like this, there exists a teacher in school. Let's suppose in school in your, in my school, I say in my school or in your school because I don't go to school. In my school, who? teach maths. So if you see in your school there are so many teachers but only few of them teach maths. Right? So you can say there exists a teacher in your school who teach math. You can't say that for every teacher in your school the teacher teaches math because it's not the correct statement. There are some teacher teach math. Some teacher may not teach math but for every school there are students. So I think the concept is clear. When you are saying there exists and then say statement that means you have a bigger statement or the, in your statement some of the points are true or some of the elements are true. When you say for every then in your set all the elements are true. When I say for every school there are students then every school has a student. When I say there exists a teacher in my school who teach math that means out of all the teachers there are some teachers who teach math some teachers don't teach math. When I say for every Two positive numbers, sum is positive. So if you take any two positive number, if you add it, it just becomes positive. Correct? So you take any two number, you add it, it becomes positive. So you will say for every two positive number, the sum is positive. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.